Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got a little something something from Jackery. Let's see what we got. So this is the Jackery Explorer 1500B. It was sent to me by Jackery to do a review on. Now this is one of their newer products. And so let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, so here it is. The Jackery Explorer 1500. Uh, on this side of the box, it shows you a display of it. It's got an LCD screen button, an LCD, DC input, your USB-C, USB-A, your Qualcomm 3.0 quick charge for uh, your smartphones or to get like a quick charge that's compatible. And of course, in the package, you get the uh, unit itself. You get the car charger. You get the AC charger, solar charger adapter, which we did get the panels by the way as well, so I'll show you that. And of course the user manual. You got your spec sheet here with the model number, the battery, the size, the weight. It does weigh around 35 pounds, so keep that in mind. It's got an input, an output, obviously the warranty, 24 months, made in China. <clears throat> so here it is. Another uh, where it's made right here, Jackery Warm Springs Boulevard in Fremont, California. Let's go ahead and crack it open. So this looks like the accessories and the user manual more than likely in here. So we'll put this to the side. Got your foam insert. And the unit, oh boy, this is heavy. Now my guess it has no battery life, it doesn't come pre-charged. We gotta rip off this little peel here. Ooh, that's satisfying. <laughs> Alright, uh, is there an on button? Maybe this? Oh, okay. So it does come pre-charged a little bit. 58% on it, which is not bad. So you can use it right away. Um, let's go ahead and Push it aside, maybe turn it off. I bet you have to hold it. Or maybe it turns off by itself, who knows. Let's just assume that it turns off by itself. <laughs> now we got the accessories. Now again, this is my very first Jackery. I have had a other branded solar power inverter that we won't mention what brand. But let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, the display turned off. All right, so we got your instructions user manual that we'll go through. And then you have your power cord and you have your, uh, this looks like the one that you'd use to um, charge from your car, 12 volt. And then these, I believe, are for the solar panels. You also have this box here, which is more than likely part of the wall charger. So you connect both of these together. This side goes into here and this side goes into your wall outlet. So we'll put that to the side for now. Let's go ahead and open up the user manual and see what's in here. I'm sure it's just how to use the unit, maybe some quick tips, something else. User manual, pretty nice. I mean, it looks like they definitely put in the effort of making it really streamlined you got an email for a help center. So you got to inspect the product, make sure there's no damage. If there is, obviously return it. Um, so again, it's just, again, more, more in-depth specifications. Uh, you got your product info here. How many life cycles? Because remember, these aren't lifetime. They obviously, um, the batteries do wear out on them. You got your operating temperatures from 14 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit and then your recharging temperature has to be 32 degrees above in between 104 Okay, let's move on how to recharge the power station and recharge time So again with your solar charger uh, It's a 400 watt max output Around four hours a wall charger 500 watt max around three hours and your car charger, 100 watt max, around 15.5 hours. So there's obviously a big jump there. 
So how to use it? Um, it just recommended solar so setup and all that. Solar setup, you know, how to, how to do it actually. How to do it with one panel, how to do it with multiple panels. How to use the power station. Obviously press the power button to check remaining battery. Where is the power button? All right, so the power button is the LCD display button. And it goes on, it's set at 30 second um, power or auto power off display. So it turns off by itself. And again, if you would it says if you'd like to set the display on for more than 30 seconds, press, please double press the display button. So if you, if you want it, longer than 30 seconds you double press it um, if you'd like to reset it simply press once the display button hmm, a little confusing all right whatever um, you got your power level percentage obviously the AC DC buttons if you want to do this you press this one it'll turn on press it again to turn it off if you want to use DC turn it on turn it off if you want to use this one turn on turn off all right Pretty self-explanatory. On to the next page, it just kind of gives you a um, information sheet on everything that you might see that's on the LCD display, all of the little icons and what they mean. And it says, give your appliances more runtime. Um, so it kind of tells you, you know, uh, all those things here. Troubleshooting, if you ever run into issues, Problem with the input, problem with solar charging, problem with output, problem with the LCD screen. Fax questions, obviously, questions and answers. Frequently asked questions and answers. Um, product guidelines, and then here's your warranty. Exclusions, how to register the item and get the warranty. So you actually have to register it, call customer support. And here's your warranty card that you can mail in. I'm sure there's an online way of doing it. So that's the user manual. I know, the most boring, boring, boring thing. That's cool. They sent us a sticker pack. That is awesome. I love when companies do this. They actually send you a sticker pack. And uh, so we'll be putting those on our mowers and other equipment, maybe on the Jack 3 unit itself. Since we are not sending this back, they are allowing us to keep it, which is awesome. All right, <laughs> big fail. Not going in all the, all right, here we go. Another cool thing about this unit is it does have a built-in flashlight on the side. So we're gonna go ahead and tear this off. So as you can see, the flashlight turns on and off. You hold it for, I believe, SOS. So it's got some functionality there. And we're gonna set this unit aside right here. Put this back. I love the case, by the way, really nice case that you can store all of your accessories. And we're gonna get the solar panels and unbox those. Now, if you guys are wondering what these are for, if I haven't mentioned it already, these are for charging your unit. Now, it's got the cord in here, the charging cord, and uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, a little uh, kickstand, I believe. And there's the whole solar panel itself. Here's kind of a better idea of how it looks when it's unfolded. Try to get my camera around here. And that's just one of them. We have four of these that they sent me.
Let's go ahead and set up the solar charging and see how that looks. I already got one panel out. We're gonna set it up, connect it all, and see how it charges up via solar panels. All right, so here's how the panels look outside. Again, you don't want the panels to be casting a shadow on any of the panel squares. So just make sure they're not interfering with each other and bring all of your four wires outside. Okay, and remember, you need to use the adapters to connect uh, the two panels basically together. So you take these little other converters off. Now I got this lead here. Now this lead, let's go ahead and do this one too. Okay, now we just got these two connectors and they'll connect directly into the input. And here's the reading that we're getting. Might be hard to see it with all of this natural sunlight on the LCD display, but Input 224 watt, it says it's about 3.5 hours until, I believe that's until it's fully charged. Let's go ahead and look at the manual, but we're at about 58%. Yeah, so this is the recharging indicator, indicates how many hours it's gonna to take to recharge. And then that one on the right side is the discharge indicator, how much the battery is being used. So there's the whole setup there. And let's see what we're at right now. Still 58%. Again, it's only been a minute off camera. So that's how it looks like. I don't wanna use the solar panels to recharge this guy. So let's go ahead and plug it into the wall outlet and see how fast it can recharge from there. Let's go ahead and open this pouch up. Again, and grab our wall outlet. So this end is gonna go into one of the inputs. And of course, this is going into your wall outlet. A little blue light indicating that I'm sure everything is working, everything is hooked up properly. And it looks like the wattage has climbed up to about an input of 260 watt. And it's gonna take 2.9 hours to fully recharge. So a little bit faster doing it this way than with the solar panels. And again, that was with four of them. All right, now since we are, this is a lawn care channel, we are slowly converting to battery operated equipment. So I got an AL500 steel charger with the AP300S battery. Same battery on an AL300 a battery or charger. And last but not least, we got the Milwaukee M12 supercharger that both charges the M12 batteries and the M18. We got a three barred XC 6.0 battery. I know this will kick up some wattage. Let's go ahead and plug them in. And we did press the button. So we get an output right now of three watts. Let's go ahead and charge this battery up. Now, of course, with heavy, heavy usage, like running a supercharger, or one of the more powerful chargers to charge your power tool batteries, it's gonna be outputting a lot of wattage. So that's why you get like 1.6 hours of runtime if you are constantly using, um, you know, chargers like these. And I'm essentially just gonna be running two chargers in my lawn care truck. I'm gonna recharge this overnight. I don't know if I'm gonna be using the panels during my lawn care route, but I am gonna be recharging this guy overnight, putting it in the truck every morning. And so that way I can charge two, have, have two batteries charging at all times while I'm out there mowing. And this thing will definitely upkeep with charging all of the batteries. Of course, it's probably gonna die if I keep on using it. It's only got like, 
I would say probably three hours of runtime if we are charging batteries for those three hours. We might run into a creative idea of how to maybe mount these panels. But again, if I had an enclosed trailer, we could maybe make that work. But with an open trailer, it's a little bit hard and you can't really mount it on you know, top of the roof of the truck. You got four of them and you got a bunch of wiring. So it might be a little bit challenging. So maybe in the future, we'll do a build with an enclosed trailer. But for now, we're just gonna be recharging the Jackery Explorer 1500 every single night before we go out and mow lawns in the morning. But again, um, this is the Solar Saga Saga 100. Max output 100 watt, 18 volt. And one more cool thing about the back side here, which I, I didn't show you. Let me open this up. So not only do you have the wire that will plug in into your uh, Jackery, whether you're using one panel or you put the converter, use two panels or four, whatever. You also have a place where you can you know, insert a USB and charge your phone or something a little bit smaller, uh, maybe a uh, you know, a phone, some headphones or whatever you got. You can plug this in. It's got two USB, one USB type C and a just a US, regular USB uh, input. Again, you can charge your phone, whatever you got. So that this is a multi-use tool right here. You don't necessarily have to charge. It's not necessarily just built for the Explorer. Again, you can charge the Explorer mobile phone, tablet PC, and game player. Here's the specs as well. So you get the model, the peak power, cell efficiency, power voltage, power current, open circuit voltage, short circuit current, your USB-A output, USB-C output, and operating temperature. And I believe this does have a auto shutoff feature, but if you do want to keep everything connected and just turn it off, you can click the button, it'll turn off the output, and the unit itself should shut down in about 30 to 60 seconds, depending on how long you have the display on. So again, it's auto shut off, really nice. I really like it. So hey, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing of the panels and the Jackery Explorer 1500. Um, it's not my right to say this is the best in the world. I do wanna give a big thank you to Jackery for sending me this, these items um, for to me to do an unboxing, to do kind of a first impression and a, you know, and, and to use for my business, for my lawn care business. So again, uh, I can't say that it's the best. We'll have to put it to the ultimate test. I'll, of course, run some, you know, run our routes and use it for about a month, two months, three months, take it out camping, do a test review, maybe out in the real world, out in the outdoors and see how it does. Uh, but again, so far it worked at home. So far it did what it needed to uh, put it under load on a few chargers. I, these batteries are full, these steel ones. So I do want to do another video of maybe where they are dead and have three of those chargers charging at the same time. All, they're probably gonna charge. Um, all I see is probably you're not gonna get those three hours, three working hours, cause it's gonna be outputting a lot of wattage. So um, again, this is not the ultimate test. This is not to say that this is the best product ever. Um, it seems really good for what it is, for you know the first impressions. Love the little pouch that they give. Shout out to the pouch, whoever created it. You are, you're awesome, man. It's just, it's a good feel, I like it. Um, solid unit, real heavy. Again, definitely got a lot of batteries in there. And uh, the panels are awesome. They're magnetic, foldable, easy to store. So they don't take up a lot of space. So again, guys, we'll do a more in-depth review uh, a little later on this channel. And again, big shout out to uh, Jackery for sponsoring this video. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. God bless you. And if you have any, any questions, feel free to reach, uh, put your comments down below. Again, I'll try to get to them as, as fast as I can, and I'll try to answer them as, as, as best as I can with what knowledge I have. I'm not an electrician. I'm just a lawn care guy and they sent me these products for me to do a quick unboxing and review of kind of first impression dealio. So again, thank you so much. God bless you. And we'll see you in the next one.
And if you would like your hands on one or just get more information from their website, I will have a link down below in the description box. So go ahead and check that out.